Hi guys, welcome to One Delish. What are we cooking in the skillet today? We're gonna be doing some smoked sausage, cabbage, Southern style, shrimp in a separate pot, and some grits. If you like that kind of meal, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the notification, and let's get into this meal. All right, let's go over all the stuff we're gonna need in this cook here. And that's, you know, you, we're gonna need a cabbage. We got our sausages, as you've seen from the intro. You need your bacon. Five strips of these bacon is what we're gonna need. We're gonna need garlic powder. That's gonna be half a teaspoon. We need black pepper, grounded black pepper. See right on there, we got grounded black pepper that kind of, uh, it's not like your regular black pepper. It's got a lot. It's more fresher, in other words. Okay, we're gonna use some paprika. Probably a quarter teaspoon, not too much of that. We're gonna need some onion powder. Some red and yellow peppers. Now, if you have the green one, you can use it as well too, but I'm gonna use these two, half of each. We're gonna need an onion diced up. I'll show you that in a second, how we're gonna dice all that up. We're gonna need some kosher salt, right? Really good stuff. Just a little pinch here and there as we go through the process of the cook, and you'll see as I add. And chili. We got some chili pepper that we're gonna be using in there as well too. Add a little kick. I'm gonna add some oregano because I want that taste to come out. And our next one we have in line, sorry, next one we have in line is our Tony's Creole seasoning to give you that Cajun nice bite to it. So that's, that's really why I'm adding this, to give us a little bite to it. And I'm gonna add some seafood, a little bit of seafood seasoning for our shrimp. Cause you know, we're gonna be using shrimp as well too. So we're gonna add some jumbo shrimp. And these ones are deveined, as you can see. These are deveined, so you don't have to worry about them being uh, I'm shelling and you gotta take off the shell and all that stuff. You don't have to do none of that. This is already pre-done, so you, you don't have to worry about that. And so, if that's what we need, let's get into cutting up everything and getting ready right, for the pan. Let's start by cutting up our cabbage. Cut off this little stem right there. Cut it right in half. Now, we need to get right here and start to cut out this right in here. So we're gonna cut into that right there. It's almost like you're deveining it. Cut now, that's the bitter part of of the uh, cabbage. So we gotta cut that out. Take that right out, just like so. Take that out. So now we're gonna do it to the other side. Go all the way in. Turn it over. Push your knife into there, as deep as you can. Pop that bad boy out, just like so. All right, you wanna keep cutting down. You can go as big, you can go as big or as little as you want to go. You know, so you can chop them up like so. Because these are gonna wilt down once you put them into the pot. You can even cut them in it like that, you know, to dice it. But if you want to keep them big, you can. I'm gonna dice them one more time. Move that to the side. We're gonna cut this one here. And then we cut out the core, so we just dice it. Take where that core is at. Cut another cut and another cut there. Spin it around so we can dice it in half, like so. Now that we have these all diced up, 
Now let's just put them into the pan and then we'll rinse them out. All right, let's just wash our cabbages. And we can let them drain right here as well too. I'm just gonna leave them in the sink and let them drain and then move on to our next step, cutting up our, and that's warm water, nice warm water. Just rinse it around, turn them off, let this drain, and then let, now that we have them drained, let's go ahead and cut our onions now. All right, let's start cutting this onion. Cut off all the edges, stuff like that. Get it out of there. One way to quickly peel all this off here, to run your knife all the way around and start peeling. You can just tear it right off. I'm gonna keep some of that because it's it's not a bad, not bad. You can just roll this back if you want. It's like the saying, onions, layers, this is it right now. All those layers you're trying to get off. All right, put that aside. Dice your onions. Dice it a little bit more. You don't have to be too dicey. And you know what onions, they can make you cry. You hear me? They can, and that's what it's doing to me right now. So I gotta keep my eyes open. But they're so flavorful. That same uh, stuff that they do to your eyes, the same they do into your meal. And it's just amazing. It sets off with such amazing tastes. And that's why onions are so good. Put those into the bowl. Put those right into our bowl. And move on to put that aside and move on to our bell pepper. So we're gonna cut it down. Remember, we only need a half of this. We don't need the whole thing. And I'm gonna cut all that out. Basically get all that stuff out of there. So let's move that aside. Another great tasting uh, vegetable. You can smell it. It just as soon as you cut it, the fresh aromas just come out. Just cut the second one. So let, all right, now that we have diced those, let's put those away. Move those aside. Let's get ready to dice up our sausage. Bring your sausage there and start dicing them. And we can cut them big, small. I'm gonna cut them kind of a little bit small, maybe a quarter of an inch. Cut them down because you want them to, uh, they're gonna cook either way. I'm saying this is a good way to, uh, you can gauge yourself and say, you know what, I want quarter inch. Or you can go big, like those big ones. Like so. Let's move that aside, it's kind of the second half of this. And then we're gonna cut up our bacon. Keep cutting. Notice I'm cutting them in all kinds of different ways. You can cut them down, like that, or straight ahead, or even down like that. So whichever way you want to cut it, you go ahead and cut it as thick as you want, as small as you want, any angle, any shape. All right, let's move that aside. We're gonna take these, put these on the plate, and get ready for our bacon. Up. Let's cut our bacon. Here we go. Bacon is kind of a stringy, so it's gonna take a little bit to just put in there and cut it. Remember, we gotta cut up five of these, so just just four. I gotta cut up one more. You can smell even the bacon right now, but wait till you see this in the pan and what it's gonna do to this dish. One more to cut up. Just like that, we have our bacon. All right, let's get all this, let's get our pan heated. All right, our pan is ready. Let's get our bacon in there. And get another for the fat. And start rendering the fat. Yeah, 
bacon. Gives you that nice taste. And when it renders, there we go. Keep moving that around. And the fat will just start to come. Keep going. Keep going fast. Bacon is going. Keep it going. Tell all that fat comes, and then you can start ironing. The sausage just keep going until the fat gets there. Get in there. It's going to add a ton of flavor and a lot of taste to the dip. Just with this bacon. Keep going until it gets still going. Oh, one got away. Put him back in there. Keep rendering it. them up until they get brownish. Notice I put the heat down. You just keep going with that. And, and your bacon is keep on it's keeping this very loose. Okay, they are nice and brown. Look at the fat in there. Let's take these out of the pan. Let's take our little scooper here. Scoop them out. I'm open our plate right now. Our sausages are nice and brown, so let's take them out of here, and we're gonna leave that fat in there. We're gonna bring our shrimp in here now. And let's take them all out of there and put our shrimp in here. Put in those shrimp. And you're gonna easily know when shrimp is done, it's gonna coil up, coil up on you. Let's turn that temperature down, we don't need very much. Let them fry, get them brown, turn them on the side. Nice taste, get a nice taste and put a little bit of that Creole seasoning, not too much. It's just gonna add, make a little base for us when we start to add our food. See the tail are turning brown now. You can see the brown tail right now. Getting close. Flip them on the other side. And they're opening up with where they would be vain. So that's showing that they're when they turn that, that orange pinkish look, you know your shrimp is done. And it's getting to that point right now. So we're gonna keep spinning these over. Until we get those done. Both sides. It's gonna be one yummy meal, man. You can see. The tails are turning like a gold, like a brownish. We're getting close. Let them drain for a little bit. Get some of that fat out of there. 
so I can stain the pan. Put that in there. Pour those over there. Press that. Now let's get our onions in here. All right, our onions are cooking. So all we have to do here is add in our peppers into the mix. Let those cook down. We already got the onions down. Now we just need to cook down our peppers. Not all the way down, but we want them to come down. And then we're just going to add everything else into the mix. If you can smell that, those peppers are smelling so good. Just amazing, just amazing. All right, so what we have here, they're all caramelizing. It's a little bit, wait a little bit more on the peppers. Let them, and now you can smell those peppers coming up to me. I can smell them. If you were here, they'd be going right into the camera. That smell would be traveling right up to you and you'd be like, time to eat. But we got a couple more steps to go. And then we will be ready. All of the smells, all the tastes, including that bacon fat that we had in here, is now cooking all the way through. And our heat is not that high. We're probably like three thirds uh, towards, um, we're about a, a little bit beyond medium. Uh, not hot, we're on the opposite side. So, you can smell that bell pepper, man. They are just standing out. Going, you can smell it. Let's keep on going so we can get caramelized up there. All right, it's time to add our cabbage. Now that we've got our peppers, look at a beautiful look that you got going on here. Add our cabbages in here, put them in, put them all get in there. And this looks a little high right now but it's gonna, this is gonna go wilt right down. It's all gonna fry right down. So it looks like it's not gonna go down, it's gonna fry down. And we're gonna be able to add all of this to the pan. What I'm gonna do now is, let that cook down, let's put a cover on there. I'll let that cook down, I'm trying to heat up just a little bit and let that cook down. All right, let's add in our last bit of cabbage here. And we did get them all in, because it's cooking down right now. Let's break that up, put the rest of that in there. And that's pretty much all the cabbage in there. So let's put that in there and let's let it cook down a little bit more. And then we're gonna add our sausage and shrimp. Everything is cooking now, so let's go ahead and add our shrimp. Oh, look at that. Look at that. All softening up now. So let's go ahead and add our shrimp. Turn it down just a little bit. Let's add our shrimp and sausages. And let that cook down, put it on low. Well, while we're letting this cook down, the next thing we need to do is start cooking our grits. That'll be the final of the meal. Give this another five minutes, and this is ready to eat. This smells so good, guys. So, so good. So, let's get started. Let's get started. Wait till that starts to boil. All right, up. we're boiling now, so we can gradually start to get our grits put in here, at all at once. Put a little 
lot of time. It smells so good. Then we take our whisk and just keep adding. Keep adding. It should start to thicken. And we're gonna uh, gradually turn down the temperature. So you can hear that cooking. So let's turn the temperature down. Keep whisking that. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Alright, our grits is done. Let's serve it up. Alright, let's put it on a plate. Your veggies, everything right there. Put on our grits. Yummy! Look, really turn out really good. Perfect. 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 Shrimp. There you have it. Fried cabbage, sausages, shrimp, and grits. And the taste test, you get the first one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. We will see you on the next one. Later. Mm.